morning everyone. So I think I found somewhere a little bit different. I'm on the windowsill. <laughs> so I have to try not to fall out the window, but I'll be fine. Um, so yeah, I took the kids crabbing yesterday and we caught a couple of crabs in a blenny. But there was this incident, there was a lady in the sea and Benjamin was in a rock pool. And I mean, really, it was a big toe maybe touched her town. And she came straight out the sea, up the slipway and was saying, oh, um, we're not supposed to have contact at the moment and stuff. I just thought how hard it is. Like within the last few months, our whole way of being has changed. It's not in human nature to stay away from each other so extremely. And um, I just, it was just quite an eye opener. I felt a little bit cross with her, but I didn't say anything. But um, yeah, poor Benjamin. So it was quite tricky, but it's hard, isn't it? It's hard to keep this in mind constantly, to stay away. It's not in our nature to do that, really. And um, today we're reading Protection in the Father, and I'm reading from 1 Peter 3, verse 18. It reads, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. Can I show you a beautiful picture of God's love for you found in the story of Daniel? We saw how Dan in Daniel's case, the law of the land was violated and how in spite of his love for Daniel, the king had to carry out the law and punish Daniel. If he hadn't, he would have been an unrighteous king. Now, imagine if someone came again a year later to accuse Daniel of this crime and ask Daniel to be punished again. What would the king do? Would the king throw Daniel into the lion's den again? No, Daniel had already been sentenced. He had already paid the price for the violation of the law. My dear friend, because our Lord Jesus has been punished on the cross in your place, the devil cannot come to the king and ask for you to be punished and thrown into the lion's den. You see, your sins were forgiven, not because the king simply decided to close an eye and let you off the hook. The king forgave your sins righteously after judging them in the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who was completely without sin took your sin, took your place and bore the full weight of the punishment for your sins. And we see that in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. All your sins have been legally and judicially judged at the cross. All your sins. Because of his finished work, once you receive the Lord Jesus into your heart, God just, God's justice and righteousness are now on your side. Do you know how much, God, how much God loves Jesus? His beloved son and the apple of his eye. Then I pray that you will have a revelation of how much your father in heaven loves you. To redeem you, God paid the price with the blood of his only son. It must have been the most difficult decision for him. None of us would ever fully comprehend what God experienced in sending his own beloved son to the cross. We catch just a small glimpse of the torment that God suffered when we read about King Darius's suffering. King Darius wanted to save Daniel, but he could not violate his own law. Similarly, God loves his own son, but he knew the only way to save us, who, save us who had violated the law, was to sacrifice his own son, Jesus Christ. May this revelation of his amazing love and grace give you boldness to come freely to him and find protection under his wings. Our prayer today, Father God, thank you that all my sins have been legally and judicially judged in, on Jesus' body at the cross. Thank you that through faith in your Son, my sins are righteously forgiven once for all time. I declare that your justice and righteousness are on my side today, protecting me and providing for me in Jesus' name. Amen. And I thought, because all my sins have been legally and judicially judged at the cross, God's justice and righteousness are on my side today. And I just wanted to add there that it's all of your sin for all of your life. When Jesus died on the cross, all our sin were future sins. So 
because we've been saved, it's not all our sins up until the point we're born again. It's all our sins for all of our lives have been paid. They have been legally judged on the cross, on the body of Christ. So the devil can no longer turn around and say, ah, but what about this? You're a Christian and you did this. Actually, we always, according to God's standard, will always fall short. And that's why Christ came. Christ came, he didn't come because once we became born again, we'd be perfect. So my battery was a bit low. He came because um, he knew we needed a saviour. Jesus means he who saves. Saviour. So think about that today. So my battery's throwing me off now. But I pray you have a great day and enjoy some more sunshine. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, God bless. Bye.